Washington, Commander of the American North American Space Defense Command NOIAD, General Terence O'Shaughnessy, said the United States, US, and Canada must immediately improve the missile defense in the face of increasing Russian military activity. O'Shaughnessy cited renewed Russian fighter jet patrols in the Arctic after 30 years of inactivity, regular Russian strategic bomber flights to US and Canadian airspace boundaries. He also highlighted the spread of cruise missiles in the northern region as a reason for renewing the missile defense S. System. We have never seen an increase in this systematic and methodical threat since the height of the Cold War, O'Shaughnessy said, according to the Canadian press report quoted by Sputnik on Thursday, February 14, 2019. We have to acknowledge the fact that our current enemies hold our citizens, our way of life, and our national interests at risk, he added. At present, the US and Canada are discussing to increase the strategic defenses which currently include what is called the 1980s radar chain in the Canada. An Arctic that can be integrated into the NORAD system. However, there was little actual progress, because both parties expressed the need for additional studies and evaluations before further discussion but until now there has been no set time. While acknowledging the need for a study, O'Shaughnessy also warned that the two countries should stop what he called a paralysis trap by analysis, and start the actual deployment. We are clear in NORAD now, and we say that our country's defense is very urgent and important, and therefore, we need to pursue it, and we need to pursue it together, he said firmly. Every increase in NORAD depends on whether Canada agrees to participate in the Missile Defense Shield program, which will require it to deploy launches on its land, making Canada a potential target for strategic attacks. In 2005, Canada opted out of the program. Both US President Donald Trump and the Pentagon have called for the placement of space-based sensors to improve missile detection capabilities. But projects like this face concerns over space weapons, and very high costs. In a statement, General O'Shaughnessy also added that the two countries should better maintain their infrastructure, such as electricity networks, while looking for ways to make it too expensive for anyone to try to attack North America. Instead of just responding to the progress of doctrine and technology, we must encourage these strategies and create a dilemma to make it too expensive for any country to reflect on attacks on our nation, he said.